Today I'm going to introduce you to my favourite bridge in London, London Bridge. OK, it's not the prettiest bridge that you could find in London, but I'm going to convince you by the end of this video that it's the best. You can basically think of London Bridge as where London began. In 52 AD, during the Roman Empire, a bridge was built here by Emperor Claudius. In 80 AD, a more permanent structure made out of wood was put here, but as with a lot of things in England, once the Romans left, this was basically left into disrepair and rotted away. In the middle of the 9th century, another more permanent structure was placed here, but in 1014, when the Danes held London, the Saxon king, King Ethelred the Unready, what a great name for a king, he sailed up the Thames, tied ropes to the struts of the bridge, and then sailed away, pulling the bridge down. Which is where we get the song, London Bridge is Falling Down. In 1176, the first stone London Bridge was built during the reign of Henry II. It was built and designed by Peter de Colchurch, and it took 33 years to build. It was paid for by a tax on wool, and was finished in 1209, which was sad for Peter de Colchurch, who in fact died in 1205. Gatehouses were placed at either end of the bridge, and on the southern end, a drawbridge put in place so that ships could pass underneath it. A chapel was built in the middle of the bridge, dedicated to St. Thomas a Becket, and Peter Colchurch was buried there. King John decreed that the entire length of the bridge should have houses and shops built so that it could provide for the upkeep costs. And this was basically a wonder of the world for 600 years. In 1212, a devastating fire broke out at both ends, and it trapped residents and tourists on the bridge. 3,000 people died. In 1305, a grisly custom was begun. Traitors to the English crown had their heads cut off, parboiled and dipped in tar to preserve them, and then stuck on poles on the southern gatehouse. One of those victims was Guy Fawkes. London Bridge survived the 1666 Fire of London because there was already a fire break in place due to an earlier fire in 1633. By the 1700s, traffic was becoming an absolute nightmare. So in 1722, the Lord Mayor ordered that all traffic should keep to the left. This was the first time that this rule was made compulsory in Britain. And the reason why it was the left is because of jousting. Competitors needed to keep their sword hand free to meet incoming horsemen, and most people, being right-handed, meant that they passed on the left. In continental Europe, it's actually on the other side of the road, you might have noticed. And that's all down to Napoleon. Napoleon established the road system, and he was also left-handed. In 1763, houses were removed from London Bridge, and in 1831, the first completely new London Bridge opened. Obviously, they had to demolish the old one, and in doing so, they demolished the chapel, in which they found Peter de Colchurch's bones, which they then unceremoniously dumped in the river. By the 1960s, the new London Bridge could no longer support modern traffic, and so it was actually put up for sale. It was bought by Robert McCulloch of Arizona for almost two and a half million US dollars. Rumour had it at the time that he thought he was buying the prettier Tower Bridge, but that was in fact a myth and not true. The bridge was sent over to America in pieces, and according to the Guinness Book of World Records, it's the largest antique ever sold. Hopefully I've now convinced you that this plain looking bridge is actually absolutely fascinating. And if you'd like to see more videos about the history of London, I've got many more on the way, so you should definitely subscribe. And I guess I'll see you again soon. And he was also left-handed. Said it in a different order, still okay. <sighs> okay, that's okay. Here's one that connects to nice a smartphone. It's 178. Sorry, I'm just fascinated. This is how rubbish Kim thinks I am, by the way. She's Googling teleprompters because I can't get this right. All right, you're good now. Okay. Um, Wait, no, it's back. You're good. Okay. <laughs> and 3,000 people died. In 1305, a grisly custom was introduced where English traitors... Why are you laughing? <laughs> you sound so happy. <laughs> I sounded happy that they died. We're going to have to redo that. <laughs> I was trying to be dramatic, not smug. Okay. Uh, Can you hear him? You've got some competition going on. <laughs> Where is that coming from? It's the boat. Look, I'm trying to tell people about <laughs> London. You shut up. I'm trying to do it. It was like fine for ages, and now it's all of a sudden a mess. I think it's because like it's getting. What is that? Oh, the plane passed in front of the sun, so you could see the plane shadow on the water. That was amazing. <laughs> and I guess I'll see you again soon. 
That's really it, because like no one likes outros, do they? So.